In order to address the housing and office accommodation challenges, I'd like to call on the Permanent Secretary Ministry of Home Affairs and Internal Security through their representative to work with the Ministry of Housing and Infrastructure Development. The Permanent Secretary should also engage individual constituencies and be involved in the allocation of funds to help develop local police, police stations and immigration facilities. Chairperson, on the vehicles again, I'm pleased to inform you that government recognizes the need for more transport, and that's the central level we will endeavor to provide transport to ensure that police officers and immigration officers work well as they maintain law and order in the nation. With regard to harmonization of salaries, the chairperson may wish to note that the anomalies in the pay structure have been noted, and government setting up of the amendments commission will definitely address these issues. <laughs> Chairpersons, ladies and gentlemen, I wish therefore to urge you and your team to take this strategic plan and balance scorecard very seriously and ensure that it is implemented accordingly. I wish to assure the Commission of my office's support in the successful implementation of the strategic plan and balance score plan. Now, 2024, for me, is the year of the police. Allow me, Chair, to congratulate the Zambia Police for the awards that were obtained through the Integrity Committee, which is showing that the Zambia Police is doing an introspection in terms of corruption. The progress that is being made through the Integrity Committee must be upheld, and we must see more of that. And if we're getting the human resource right, the integrity must be right. To those values, it's possible. And you will, Mr. Chairman, with your team, closely work with police to ensure these integrity committees are supported and given the necessary facilities and requirements to deliver. Why? Because 2024, as the President has said, is a year of unblocking challenges and finishing transactions. This is not possible with corruption. Neither is it possible with roadblocks that are delaying unnecessarily. Security is important, but it must be efficient security. A roadblock may be necessary, but it must be an efficient roadblock. I can't be on the December road for 15 minutes waiting to be inspected. That is inefficiency. That is not going to grow an economy. If there's efficiency, and we're going to work together in 2024 to bring an efficient police service that can secure us efficiently and effectively. This roadblock issue has done too much damage to all of us. And I think it's time we hold our hands and clean it up. And I know, Chairperson, with you, IG and Cabinet Office, we will manage 2024, we'll come out of different police force. Now, with these remarks, it is now my singular honor and privilege to officially launch the Zambia Police Service Commission Strategic Plan. Balance scorecard for 2023-2026 and the website. All the best to the Commission and the Zambia Police as you implement this plan and immigration. God bless you all.